So you might think that creating an ebook or any other type of lead magnet is a long and tedious task and that you are totally not up for it. I used to think the same thing, but in today's video, I'm gonna share with you my story and I'm going to walk you step by step through the process that I have used to minimize my involvement and maximize the end result to create a good, interesting and compelling lead magnet for your target audience. So let's jump right into the topic. Let me start by telling you that I used to co-own a system integrator company that I successfully sold just recently. And at some point in time, we wanted to grow our audience of uh, IT administrators, IT directors and admins per se, in order to deliver them quality message, quality narrative, and at some point in time, of course, convert them into our customers. I wanted to create an interesting material that we are going to promote through social media and Google ads in order to get their email addresses and to deliver them some interesting content. But ironically, at this point in time, our website was undergoing uh, redevelopment. No one from the marketing department had any time. And of course, salespeople were totally busy with closing the incoming uh, deals and everything was just super hectic as it always is in business. But I decided that although the circumstances are not exactly perfect, we are going to do this and we are going to deliver this in under two weeks. So instead of thinking problems, I was thinking solutions. The solution that I came up with was that I will prepare a draft, a outline for an ebook that will be about hosting emails cloud and on-premise that will uh, tell a compelling story, interesting story about how you can leverage certain technologies that are out there, how you can use the tools that are free and how you can use the paid tools in order to maximize your efficiency while managing uh, the emails for medium, uh, small and big companies. And what can you do in order to make your emails within the organization more secure? So what kind of techniques you can use, what kind of trainings you can provide for the staff within the business in order to minimize your effort of dealing with the damage or any uh, cybersecurity threats later on. And I outlined the ebook in a short free four pager word document. In each chapter, I have wrote what I want this chapter to be about. And I have provided a couple of links to interesting articles, to interesting blog posts on the topic or social media posts of authors or renowned professionals. And I have provided this document to a copywriter. I have found a copywriter through the website that is similar to Upwork, but located in Poland. And I have briefed the guy about what I want to have here, how this should look like is the amount of wording that I'm requiring and what other things I need him to deliver. And why I haven't used AI for this particular task, which is creating an outline or creating a copy, because there was no AI that was writing an interesting, good and verified copy at the time, because it was more than two and a half years ago. So when copywriters started to work on the copy, contacted our graphic designer and told her what is the feeling of an ebook that I'm expecting. I have provided her with some examples that I found on the internet. And I told her that uh, I would like her to create me a draft of a couple of graphic elements so we can be ready when the final copy will arrive. Uh, we will just put everything together. So after around five days, I have received the first draft of the copy for an ebook. Of course, it required some feedback and some review on my end. And after this feedback round, uh, around two days later, I have received a final copy for the document, along with some interesting statistics, with some interesting tables that I've asked for, uh, comparisons and so on and so forth. So the copy was actually ready. Uh, I just provided the copy to uh, a graphic designer, along with some information about how this can work with the draft that she has already provided to me a couple of days earlier. And boom, a couple of days later, I have received a brand new ready to be published ebook 
that I could use in my marketing efforts. The only thing that was left was to prepare ads, to prepare copy for the ads and to start the marketing campaign. So before I will move to some tips that I have for you, if you are finding this video interesting, make sure to subscribe to our channel to receive more valuable tips about B2B sales and marketing. So here are a couple of tips for you. When you are creating an ebook or any other type of lead magnet nowadays, you can leverage the power of AI. And I do highly recommend you to leverage the open AI or a chat GPT, for an instance, in order to minimize the effort required to create an outline. In order to have a good outline built by AI, you should probably consider adding some context for the AI. So do share some information about your company and share information about who are you and what you do professionally, who is going to be a recipient of a particular lead magnet, ebook, cheat sheet, or whatever this will be, and how this is going to benefit them. This kind of context will provide an AI with important information that will result later on with a better outline that you will get. Furthermore, what you need to remember about while working with AI is that the longer, the better the prompt, the better the results. So if you are going to write an AI, if I would be doing this those couple of years ago, and I would write, please write me an ebook about email hosting, the crap that I would receive will probably not be publishable at all. But if I would write an outline in a way that I was thinking about the research, so what do I want in the first chapter? What do I want in the second chapter? How the third chapter should look like? What is the comparison between the two different sets of tools or uh, techniques or trainings? What are the differences and how they overlap or contradict each other? And if I would then provide information about how the summary should look like. Plus, I would share some uh, blog uh, content that uh, I want to be an inspiration for an AI. Then the process would be probably similar to what I did with an ebook back in the day when what took me around two or three hours. Nowadays, you can have similar results in minutes, if not faster. So I would say that the better the prompt, the better the end result. Once you have an outline, you have basically two choices. You can either go for a copywriter route or write a lead magnet by yourself with an AI. If you will go the copywriter route, of course, the human touch to everything will be significantly higher. So you can expect the copywriter to read your past articles. You can familiarize him or her, brief them on the topics that you want to receive. You can have a talk with them. You can tell a story about your brand. You can share some videos that you have on your social media and so on and so forth. So the context that this person will receive and the information that you will feed to this person are going to affect her way of thinking about your brand. And she or he might reflect this in the style of the copy that they will write. What is very important while working with copywriter is that you need to define expectations. What do you need? What kind of language this uh, person should use? What kind of information this person should implement within the copy? You should also set a deadline and some basic foundations for the cooperation to go further. If you decide to go for a second choice, which is working with AI on writing your lead magnet, then you should probably prepare yourself for writing even more contextually rich prompts in order to uh, get the results that you are expecting. So what are the things that you can expect by working with AI or working with a copywriter? And uh, trust me, I have worked with more than two or three dozens copywriters in the past uh, for two of my businesses. And I have also wrote by myself or with marketing department people tons of content using AI. And both of these approaches have certain advantages and disadvantages. And let me break them down for you. Before I will do it, just a reminder, hit subscribe if you are finding this video interesting. So if you are going the AI route, then you can probably expect that 
you will get bizarre results, although the prompt was pretty interesting. So AI has a tendency of making up certain things or just drifting towards the fantasy world uh, at very random moments. Of course, this will probably get improved as the time passes, but AI can be pretty weird at times. What you should also be on the lookout for when it comes to AI is that it will provide you with some quotes or with some facts that are totally made up. And this is a thing that is super funny because even if you will ask AI directly to only use verified information or provide you with sources that it used to write a certain paragraph or an article or whatever, this might not work. So AI can always imagine things or come up with something that is non-existent. So you should be on the lookout for that and be aware that you have to triple or quadruple check the information that AI provides for you. On the other hand, AI is not going to provide you with any typos or any grammar errors and the text that will be written is sometimes really impressive when it comes to quality. When it comes to copywriters, the things that you can expect is, of course, like with all humans, missed deadlines. So you can always uh, expect someone to you promise you that they will deliver on Monday and will deliver on Wednesday at the end of the day. So this is typical human behavior and there's literally not much that you can do about it apart from of course introducing some sort of penalties and agreements and so on and so forth but it's very complex so I wouldn't go that way. Uh, the other thing that you can expect from a copywriter unfortunately is that you are going to have significantly more work on feedback uh, on reviewing the articles. So on average when I'm reviewing the article from AI it takes me I would say around 50% or even 70% uh, less time than reviewing the copywriter article, especially if they are writing about the complex subject that uh, they have not had experience with in the past uh, to just make mistakes. And this is of course super understandable because if they have never experienced working uh, in IT industry and if they have never wrote uh, a line of code, it's pretty hard for them to understand certain details around the technology or around the certain specialty that you are operating in. So you have to uh, devote significantly more time to review that copy. But a copywriter can provide you with some human feedback that can be very valuable for your business when it comes to creating either a lead magnet or any type of content. And this is something to also keep in mind. And last but not least, uh, copywriters are not as fast as AI. So you have to probably analyze which one is better for you and what is your set of values, what is your set of priorities and how do you want to cope with the fact of writing something with AI or how do you want to cope with the fact of having to wait for something in order to have it delivered. So the choice is totally up to you. When it comes to graphic design, you should, in my opinion, hire either a designer or have someone from a marketing department work in one of the many tools and Canva comes to mind as the number one tool, at least for me, uh, to create interesting infographics, to create ebooks, to create lead magnets. They have ton of different templates that you can leverage, that you can enrich with your own brand identity, visuals, colors, and so on and so forth. And this can work just as good, in my opinion, as the custom made graphics. But of course, if you are very detail oriented, then going the graphic designer route is probably the way to go. Let me know what are your thoughts on having your lead magnet built by either a copywriter or a AI and what are your experiences with using one or the second route or maybe you have some other way to create your lead magnet sufficiently that I could find useful. Uh, share this in the comment section. Do remember to subscribe to our channel if you found this video interesting and have a great day ahead.